So what exactly is the difference between the scale factor versus like the ratio? And we're gonna talk about similar polygons as well as ratios of perimeters, ratio of areas. This is a concept that students in geometry sometimes struggle with, and I'm gonna to try to make it a lot easier here for you in this video. So first thing we're dealing with are these two similar equilateral, equiangular triangles. And you can see this is the symbol for similar. And notice we've got triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Notice that these sides are all three, these sides are all 12. Let's see if we can answer these questions. It says, what is the scale factor from triangle ABC to triangle DEF? Now you wanna pay careful attention to that language, from triangle ABC to triangle DEF. The scale factor means like, what are we multiplying by to get from this triangle to this triangle, right? Well, you can see that we're multiplying by four. So that scale factor, what we're scaling it by is gonna be four. Now, if you want a formula, and I oftentimes recommend this to students, I say the scale factor, which they oftentimes use the letter K, it's equal to the new over the old. Now, what do I mean by that new over old? Well, if we're going from here to here, this is the new triangle, right? So I would say 12, divided by the old triangle side, which is three, 12 divided by three gives us four, right? Now for number two, if it says, what is the scale factor from triangle DEF, this bigger triangle, to the smaller triangle, then this would be the new one, this would be three, and then 12 would be the old one, and you can see that that's one fourth. Now you might be saying, Mario, aren't these just reciprocals of each other? Yeah, they are, and one way that you can tell if you're on the right track is because if you're going from smaller to larger, this scale factor should be greater than one. That indicates that it's an enlargement. If it's going from larger to smaller, that scale factor should be between zero and one. That tells you it's a reduction. So if you get the number and you look and you say, well, this doesn't make sense, you know, because then you can kind of take the reciprocal and get the correct answer. Now for number three, we're switching gears. We're talking about the ratio. What is the ratio of the side lengths of triangle ABC to triangle DEF. So the ratio, remember you can write a ratio as with a colon in between, like three to 12, which actually reduces to one to four, okay? Or you can even write the word two in there, one to four, or you can write it as a fraction, one to four. But notice the order is important. So ABC, that's this guy, to DEF, so I'm saying, ABC to DEF, ABC to DEF. It's different from the scale factor where you're saying, oh, what am I multiplying by to get to this new one, right? That's different, right? That's where we do the new over old, or we say, what are we multiplying by? If we're just doing the ratio, we're just comparing left to right, or ABC to DEF. Now, for number four, we're looking at what is the ratio of the perimeters of triangle DEF, this bigger one, to triangle ABC, the smaller one. Well, the ratio of the perimeters is gonna be the same as the ratio of the side lengths, okay? Because you can notice here, this is 36, this is nine, 36, nine, that's still a four to one ratio, right? But notice the order is important. So triangle DEF, that's gonna be 12 to ABC, which is three. Or I could have done the perimeter, which was 36 to nine. But in either case, it's reducing to four to one, four to one or four to one as a fraction, okay? Any of those are gonna be correct. Now for the last example, a little bit different, switching gears, what's the ratio of the areas? Remember the area is the inside, okay? What is the ratio of the areas <clears throat> of triangle ABC to DEF? Well, you can see that this ratio, three to 12, is one fourth, but when you're comparing the area, you have to take that ratio and square it. Remember, area is two-dimensional, and this would come out to one to 16 is the ratio of the areas. Now again, notice the order is important, ABC to DEF, so that's like three to 12, which reduces to one to four. I'm squaring it because it's area. If these were pyramids, like volume, then we would do one over four cubed. Remember, volume is like length times width times height, it's three-dimensional. So I hope this clears up any uh, confusion about the ratios and the scale factors. If you wanna see more examples related to this topic, I'll put a video right there. Follow me over to that video, we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.